up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you about Scream Factory's new The Terror Within and The Terror Within 2 double feature Blu-ray release. Now, this is partially going to be a review of both of the movies as well as a review of the Blu-ray release itself. As for 1989's The Terror Within, I had only seen the film once before, many, many years ago. It focuses on a group of scientists driven underground following an apocalyptic event that wiped out 99% of humanity and rendered the planet a barren wasteland. Soon their bunker is breached by a mutant creature who wants to kill the men and mate with the women. The Terror Within is a Roger Corman-produced film. As a matter of fact, it's one of the many alien clones he produced. The film sports a pretty respectable cast, including George Kennedy, who's clearly here for the paycheck and nothing more, Andrew Stevens, and Terry Treas. But The Terror Within lacks many of the accoutrements that we've come to expect from a Roger Corman-produced movie. And I don't just mean TNA. The movie is painfully slow, it's extremely thinly plotted, even for a movie like this, and there's just not a lot going on here. The most memorable moment in The Terror Within occurs when a rescued survivor gives birth to a gargoyle. That's what they call the mutant creature in this movie. A gargoyle. Although it doesn't look like a gargoyle, it looks like a guy in a very cheap, cumbersome rubber suit. Anyway, the gargoyle birth scene is supposed to mirror the chestburster scene from Alien, only really telegraphed and on a very low budget. Unfortunately, that's the high point in this movie. The rest of the tear within is made up of Andrew Stevens crawling around air ducts for a really long time before being slapped around by the gargoyle for what feels like hours. It is slightly amusing to watch the actor who portrays the gargoyle try to perform in the suit, because when I said that it looked cumbersome, I meant it. The design of the gargoyle isn't too bad. It kind of looks like Molazar from The Keep before he's fully formed with the head of an alligator. I feel like I'm being too hard on a movie like this because it's a film that aspires to be nothing more than derivative, cheap, and trashy. It certainly nails cheap and derivative, but it seems like no one involved had passion enough in what they were doing to actually make it entertaining. As for 1991's The Terror Within 2, Andrew Stevens returns, not only reprising his role from the first film, but also serving as writer and director this time around. The film focuses on another underground base full of scientists and blue-collar folks who, when not arguing or betraying one another, find themselves hunted by not one gargoyle, but two. There's a little more going on in this sequel, although it follows a lot of the same beats as the first film, right down to another gargoyle birthing scene. Only this time around the mother survives and the gargoyle is a hybrid. Stevens was smart enough to keep the gargoyles from the first film in the shadows, the deep shadows, and focus this time around on gargoyle human hybrids instead. Now their design here is much simpler but still pretty cheesy. The main gargoyle human hybrid, which is actually Andrew Stevens' character's Half Sun is just a guy covered in blood and slime with some kind of something sticking out the side of his head. It kind of looks like this. The Terror Within 2 sports a strong cast, including Arlie Ermey, Stella Stevens, and Renee Jones from Friday the 13th Part 6. The movie is slightly sleazier than the original, finding Stevens bedding down with a young lady who's just lost her brother. And I mean her brother just died. Literally an hour or two ago, she watched her brother die right before her eyes. Now she's getting it on with this total stranger. I mean, whatever your grieving process is, if it works for you, more power to you. We also get a sequence in which a gargoyle forces itself on a woman. The sequence is either poorly edited or forcibly trimmed by the MPAA, or both. The Terror Within 2 recycles a lot of elements from the first film, but does so in a slightly more entertaining way. It's still not great, but I enjoyed it a little more than the first. As for this Blu-ray release from Scream Factory, according to the website, The Terror Within received a new 2K scan from the Interpositive. However, on the back of the release, it doesn't say anything like that at all. It just says 1080p high definition widescreen for both movies. I do tend to believe that it did get that 2K scan because the picture quality on The Terror Within was 
really good. I'd give it a solid four out of five. Same for the audio quality. I thought the Terror Within looked and sounded great on this release. As for the Terror Within 2, the picture quality is definitely a step down from the Terror Within. I'd give it a three and a half out of five. The audio quality, I'd give a four out of five, though. The Terror Within 2 looked and sounded pretty good on this release. As far as extras are concerned, we get trailers for both films, and that's it. Now, this release, much like Scream Factory's new Twice Dead release, was limited to only 1,000 units, and it has since sold out and is now out of print. So if you're a fan of The Terror Within or The Terror Within 2 and you wanted to get either or both on Blu-ray but you didn't jump at pre-ordering this release, unfortunately, you're now out of luck. Unless you want to go to eBay and pay two or three times what this release originally listed for. If you're a fan of The Terror Within or The Terror Within 2, please let me know down in the comments section below. Also, let me know if you were able to pre-order this release from Scream Factory and let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for exclusive live streams, get early access to videos, and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Become a channel member and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.